Welcome everyone back to Weekly Weather Updates and this evening we'll have a look at the latest from the live radar as we do have the big deluge clearing away this evening. We'll also have a look at the weather warnings, we do have some yellow warnings put in force um, today and tomorrow and then we'll have a look at the longer range forecast as well as it does look like. We're going to be seeing a lot of mixed conditions with a lot of stormy weather but in the longer term there is a bit of uncertainty whether we're going to be seeing stormy weather or we're going to be seeing some high pressure building back in. So do remember, if you enjoy my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. And do remember to follow on Twitter as well, the link's in the description. So you can see at the moment, we've got this massive uh, deluge spreading away to the northeast. It has spread through quite quickly. It's been so big that for many areas, I've seen pretty much rain from sunrise to sunset, which is happening uh, as I'm recording this. You can see still across London, East Anglia and the southeast, a lot of heavy rain. We're still seeing some back edge rain as well across the northwest into Yorkshire, northern England and southern Scotland. At one point, um, sort of late morning, early afternoon, it was pretty much raining um, everywhere uh, in England, Wales, um, and much of Scotland as well. Uh, and you can see this massive rain is spreading northeastwards. Um, and we'll receive more and more rain into parts of northeast Scotland as well as it does spiral back around. If we do have a look at the past 24 hour uh, precipitation, which does give us an idea, uh, a good idea of what sort of uh, rainfall amounts we have seen, uh, or at least where the heaviest rain is seen. You can see it has generally been in the west. We did see some very squ sort of squally features in the south, and this is where we've seen the most amount of rain. However, you can see the whole of the British Isles has seen some rain, maybe apart from a few patches in Southern Ireland, but generally most areas have seen rain, if not quite heavy rain at times, and you can see where these squally f and features have developed and where the rain has been a bit more stagnant, we have seen the higher rainfall totals. So if you do have a look at the weather warnings, you can see there is a yellow warning for wind and rain in the south at the moment, slightly altered from yesterday, and it will expire at 10pm this evening, and you can see there is still slight, quite strong winds and heavy rain in the far southeast. It has been updated to trim warning area and change focus of warning to rain. If we do have a look at Sunday, we do have a yellow wind warning in force for some of the Orkney Islands, um, uh, but we... You can see the warning across Aberdeenshire, uh, Eastern Scotland in general, has um, been uh, diminished. And now strong winds just confined out to Shetland and sort of Orkney Islands as well, up off the north of Scotland. So if we do have a look at the UK Met Office run, we'll go for precipitation and then we'll have a look at the temperatures. Um, we'll also have uh, uh, temperatures as well. So you can see at the moment the big mass of rain is spreading through and it should clear slowly this evening, especially in eastern areas, lingering in northern areas as well. And you can see, you see in the far northeast, still got heavy rain all the way to early hours of the morning. And then we do see more showers spread through tomorrow, but it should be generally a bit more of a drier day. So it does look unfortunately like the uh, UK Met Office hasn't updated um, beyond 24 hours yet. Um, I don't know whether that's an error on the website or just uh, with the actual model. But we'll still have a look at the general weather pattern over the next few days. You can see uh, tomorrow a lot of showers around and then potentially some more heavy rain spreading in through Monday and Tuesday, but we'll have to keep an eye on what happens with that. Uh, if we have a look at temperatures, you can see generally tomorrow, pretty cool temperatures, maybe only 14, 15 degrees, maybe 16, 17 in the far southeast, but generally we do have rain and showers, feeling pretty chilly. Uh, and then beyond that, through sort of Monday time, we do see temperatures once again, 15, 16 degrees, and again, quite chilly, and Tuesday once again, 15, 16, maybe a couple degrees higher than that. Um, but again, not too great. And by Wednesday, could be decent. However, there is the chance we do see some heavier rain push in from the south, of course. So we do now have a look at the GFS. Have a look at the long-term outlook. You can see the big low-pressure system that's driving in the heavy rain today and over the next few days in terms of showers. And then we do see that smaller low-pressure system develop through sort of Tuesday, Wednesday, potentially giving heavy rain in the south. And then we do build in high pressure. We do see some decent weather with sort of... Uh, uh, sh short period of sort of easterly winds, not particularly cold easterly winds by any chance, um, but by sorry, by any means. But it it still will be chilly coming in the North Sea, and we do actually start to put up some warm air from the south in around ten days' time. But it is again all going to depend on sort of upper air conditions um, and exact wind directions, of course. And in the longer term, does it like low pressure is going to try and push back in off the Atlantic? But this Scandinavian high. Keep trying to hold on. Very interesting there from the GFS.
So we do see how the GM can compare, see if that does follow in similar vein. You can see that high pressure does build in. It's a little bit more flimsy, especially in the west. We could be seeing a lot more rain. Stagnant weather fronts is very possible. Um, but we do drag up some quite warm air, potentially, in the far southeast, which is pretty interesting. And we'll have to keep an eye on what happens with that. Potentially a brief sort of, um, potentially brief Indian summer sort of pattern there on the latest GM. And we'll have to keep an eye on that. If we do have a look at the ECMWF, you can see generally very unsettled for the next few days. And then we do build in that high pressure. And once again, we do start to build in some warmer air. Not, re like not really warm by any means, but generally pretty decent. Um, and yeah, looking yeah, looking decent compared to what we had recently. Um, definitely. So we do have a look at the GFS Ensembles to finish off. You can see... For London, the precipitation signal for sort of the middle of October has diminished. We have seen this sort of model flip. We've been watching over the last few days thinking, is it going to come off or not? Um, and it now definitely does look like we're going to be seeing high pressure building in for the middle of October. Looking very decent um, and potentially Indian summer on the latest GM. But still a lot of rain and cooler, wetter unsettled conditions to see over the next few days if we do have a look at the sea level pressure you can see that big rise in pressure up from around the 7th 8th of october but again as i said for the next few days pretty unsettled um if we do have a look at glasgow to give us an idea of what we could be seeing in the north again higher pressure um but again it will be pushed by weather fronts coming in from the west the best scenario the gm which showed us sort of an indian summer pattern was probably uh, very much an outlier, um, but it, well, in terms of upper air conditions. But um, if we do get the high pressure pushing further west, um, it will bring drier conditions for all, but probably wouldn't bring that much hot air up from the south. So we'll have to keep an eye, of course, what happens. But at this stage, I probably would say definitely the south and the east favoured for high pressure. Of course, as it is a sort of European Scandinavian high building. The north and the west is always going to be favoured for more precipitation, more wet and windy weather. And of course, with low pressure coming up against high pressure, we could be seeing stagnant weather fronts, which is a recipe for potentially um, flooding, um, where we see weather fronts just sit and not move through small areas, receiving a lot of rain. You can see generally there is still a decent precipitation signal in the longer term. However, it is not massive, and it has diminished um, since we updated this yesterday, um, and sort of the days before, of course. Um, so perhaps it is encouraging for the north, but this stage, definitely the south and the east is looking decent. Um, and of course, that GM run is really quite exceptional, and we would be seeing some very warm mid to high 20s come off in that scenario so we've got to keep an eye out for that but anyway thanks for watching make sure you stay safe out there over the next few days we've got a lot of heavy rain wind and unsettled conditions around and let's just pray we can see something drier and potentially warmer throughout october and then of course as soon as we get to november to december time we want that big northern blocking and those cold north or northeasterly winds to come back in as i know a lot of people do love the snow so anyway thanks for watching hope you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and i'll see you again for another video soon